today, aside from the fact that you can purchase these shirts at nojumper.com, today, we're doing big things. We got the Cam Girl interview, possibly also doing a Lil Nar interview and a Lil Skies interview. Um, we got this little skinny from the nine coming by to meet real quick. Hakeem in here, clout muncher of the century. He's here. Look. Hey guys. Same old Bond does shirt. We out here roasting you. You already know what the fuck yeah, going you know on. What the fuck going and on. then we're doing an interview with uh, Drama Whoa. of uh, Young and Reckless, Whoa. Rob Deerdick, etc. So yeah. that's cool. We're gonna ask him what's up with Chanel West Coast, my favorite rapper. And then we're going to 92.3, the radio station, because my guy Bootleg Kev told me they wanted us to come through, check out the station. Hakeem, your zipper is down on your shiny ass pants. My name's Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Girls be like, damn boy. No, I don't think that's Girls be me. looking at my booty. Hey, if you're watching this and you want to see Kendama yeah, tricks from fire. the pros, follow me on the gram. And stop sexually harassing her. Now. Hands off. We need the sexual Now. Hey, we're respecting women. Not like I am. Now. Alright, I need to get my respecting up. <laughs> say the least about you, you need to get your respect it up. Right? I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing today. I'm gonna chill here and get some clout. That's what I'm gonna do. And get do all the day? clout, all Bro. the clout. Put the clout in the bag. Put the clout in the bag. Not eat the clout. And not eat the clout. Uh huh. Not beat the clout. Uh huh. Feast on clout. Ooh. Are you hungry or what? Because I got some clout left over. <laughs> He's rapping on, just turns into just talking. <laughs> Ooh, four. You oh. fucked it up! Yeah, I'm sorry. Give me that. All right. About to dive in on this cam girl interview. Make sure you check it out. I know a lot of you have been wondering how she came to be a presence in this no jumper world. According to Adam, he created an Asian celebrity. Well, Kim has had extensive talks with me about representation and how she wants to put on for the for the female Asian community. How could I not want to be part of that? I've taken away from the Asian female community by breaking their hearts so many times that I just had to, you know, try to give back to the community. Okay. Cam girl interview just went down. Thought it was pretty good. Talked about some of the behind the scenes workings of the No Jumper Empire, as well as her own personal career while she's focusing on her career. We talked about dating Lil Pump. I think she was trolling a little too hard. I think people are gonna think she actually dated Lil Pump, but you know, what can you do? So, Lil Sky's next. What's up, guys? What's up, man? What's up? Hi, Skinny Adam. Nice pizza. Anybody would want to touch my hand while they have a piece of pizza in it, but. Wow. Yeah, he's got stupid numbers on SoundCloud and shit. He got like a million plays on Mad Songs. YouTube Love Blast, Love Blast, one million views in a, in a month. You know what I'm saying? No promo, no nothing like that. Joking Facebook is a rarely used technique these days. Fucking Facebook grind is not discussed all that often, but I respect it. I got some cloud goggles on now with the wet pants. Oh God, I'm hitting you level. I stole her cloud goggles. She gonna get it back though. I get back. Digo, y'all should follow me on Instagram. Bye, Kimberly. I'll make a cool exit. Okay. Now I'm sad. Me and Kim girl are dating everybody. Just wanna let y'all know, that's my girl. I am Chris Tucker. She's Jackie Chain. It's Rush Hour 3. What's up, boy? Uh oh, this nigga right here. How are you? Congratulations. Appreciate it. Backwoods in the whip. Man, we out here. I'm out here. Shit. Fucking records. Somebody just crashed that from the party. No, this is some weird coincidence shit that I already had his interview lined up for today. I was like, damn, we got an open gap because somebody else called out. I'm like, Lil Nar, we got to get Lil Nar in here. I didn't know they were going to be together. It's crazy. It's a small world, right? Somebody just hit their fucking door. Somebody hit their door? Yeah. yeah. That's C-Dot. That's C-Dot, Honcho. Yeah. He was like pulling right there. Somebody in the back seat opened the door and some dude came by in a Beamer and just smashed that. Christ his shit. He wrecked his shit, man. He fucking hot. You're hot. He hit a far car, bro. Oh, Hang out so the cops can take your blood. Why do you keep saying we hit too to far? And he's threatening. We, why do you keep saying we hit too far? He's smoking dope. Yeah, I can smell it on it. So basically, some sort of collision occurred, a little bit of scrapage. Fool's hating. He's talking shit about. Oh, they're high. Wow. You're old. We ain't complaining about that either, so. No. 20 minutes. Damn. Yo, oh, what's going on? What's going on? What happened to the whole fucking 
Chris, I want you to insert a picture of me and Lil Skies when we first met and notice how advanced the face tattoo technology has gotten since then. Skyrocketed. Bro, this shit hurt, bro. I'm not gonna lie, though. I didn't know my neck. I didn't know my neck hurt. Did he even scrape the car? Oh, right there. Ooh. I mean, he's saying that they hit him, but when you actually look at the cars, it's like he had to have hit them because, like, I don't, I'm not gonna get into my logic or how I think this went down, but it, it doesn't really. I'm pretty sure the white guy fucked up. Hey, tell me this fucking condom wasn't made to match his fit. Look at that. <laughs> I was gonna say Cody Shane did it like right away, but he came right behind us too. So, yo, no, why are rappers so good at this shit? We already got a little Scott's podcast on the books, but he's become a much bigger artist since then. So I'm like, you know what? Let's get this dude back in here, do the expose, really talk about what's been going on over the past few Mice months. and shit, you feel me? Yeah. Hell yeah. Respect to a good medium-sized wood. I'm not into these little pump woods. Uh, I do be like, I, I be wanting to, but like, I don't know, bro. You feel me? I think that'd be just too much sometimes. It'd be too much going on. Oh, There's look. a fresher than mine. Fresh. There's a better than mine, though. For real, for real, look. I just got my shit. That awkward got moment like, when you wear the same Air Force Ones as Hakeem. Hey, we doing something good, though. That way. You know I know you saying? just got them, because yeah. if you didn't just yeah. get them, I would have seen them 800 times oh, already. You feel me? That shit was lit, man. Thank you, Scott. We gotta get another photo. Good yeah. man, productive day at the HQ. Ready for my close up. Got the Gore Tex raised by Warren Reebok. Chinatown, you already know, and then Montclair. No, I'm just kidding, I got this at TJ Maxx. <laughs> Gun safety, dick. Yo, I can't believe I did it again. CDOT, man, Hot Joe Gay shit, man. I was from Buffalo, Chicago, man. They, but look, I'm fucked up because dude fucked my car up in the front, man. I don't know if y'all gonna put these clips in there. Dude fucked my car up. We hopped out of the car. Little Scott's my boy, but his fucking camera, man, opened the door, knocked my fucking door off, man. It's a little gnar time. We about yeah. to get in here. I've been meaning to talk to him on camera for a while now, but we're finally, finally gonna get this going. The man who made the pants that you love to hate or that you just love, he's here. Let's do it. <laughs> Those are good. Me and him just finished the tape. He's about to go insane this year. Exclusive Heartbreakers Co. Merch here. Got our Saint born Dead. Saint Dead one. You know, you gotta have Heartbreakers down the sleeve, things like that. Then you got one of the OG ones right here. Black and the pink. This Can't go wrong with that. Lil Xan, one of his favorite ones. One of Lil Xan wore for the Betrayed Music video. You no, know, we got we got Stephen Cannon, Lil Xan. We got Mod somewhere and a Bella Thorne. Bella Thorne, you know, yeah. We're on the come up. Yeah. We're trying to hit 10K right now. Bella, who? That was good. We just got the. The Lil Nar interview done. Been waiting on that for a while, and here he is. Here he is. TV's very own ah, we drama. Made it. We made it. What's going on, man? What's up, bro? So now we're gonna have What's to uh, switch the lights it? around. And we're doing a podcast. What are you doing? That game thing? HQ Live. Game. I don't understand that shit. Does, is it like about to start, or is it? Well, so yeah, it's about to start. I'm the pointer quister, and I'm so excited. And I Shut just the fuck up. I know, I know. she's Less so is annoying. annoying. Question one. It's this quick. Here we go. Lego toys come in basic shapes called what? I'm gonna take the lead on this one. <laughs> Who is the current leader of Germany? Oh, Angela fuck. Merkel, David fault, Hasselhoff, yeah. Cardi B. <laughs> Where is the highest elevation in Asia? Yo, I'm Mount gonna let Everest, you guys do this shit. Mount oh, Lotus, no, 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 no. Oh, it's probably Mount... I think, it's yeah, I think it's Lotus. Yeah, I think so. The correct answer is Mount Everest. Oh, and what? What? Wait, Mount Everest. Hey, Mount Lotsi, what the <laughs> fuck is that? I never heard of that. Yeah, that seems right. I don't seems know where right. I still don't know where Mount Everest is. Let's just throw that out there. But the Asian people, when I think of Mount Everest, I saw an article that was like, oh, uh, don't act like you knew. I saw an article like, like <laughs> today I'm here with my friend Drama. Drama, how you doing? What's up, Adam? I'm doing great. Yeah. Yeah, man, this is cool. I really appreciate you having me. I'm showing them my music hits my shoulder. Right, my shit fire, right? Hey, 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 hey. That was a, that was a great interview. You have a good time? I had a great time, man. Very easy You're conversation. Bro. I'm just I'm inspired. Appreciate that, man. Thank you, the podcast legend. If you uh, if you know about them, but you don't know all the details, if you want a little freshening up, if you or if you just want some entrepreneurial advice, you know how to make it in the world from Ohio, New Hampshire, you know anything is possible. There it is. Do it yourself. <laughs> DIY or die. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. That was great. Let's go. 
now I'm gonna make Yuri drive us to 92.3, the radio station, because I met Bootleg Kev when I was at Rolling Loud, and he was like, yo, you should come through the studio sometime. Boom, let's go. Four, for the record, four interviews, one day. It's nothing, it's regular. I only drink ice of this. I'm on a diet. I'm a chaser that who's saying. I'm just gonna bring me new pain. The new Baited is out, number 33 featuring me. It's Lil Xan and Lil Pump are not actually on this. They just put them in the bag for clickbait type purposes and also because I'm friends with them. So, talking to Keemstar, what, what could go wrong? Can't scrap a lick, so you know I got my gat. Respect your ass, and now it's time for the doctor to check your ass. Hey, rest in peace, Easy East. When he died, 1995, six, I cried. I'm gonna admit it. I was in sixth grade. I cried my eyes out. Rest in peace, Easy East. Yesterday, I was having a conversation about people who eat hamburgers for lunch are fucking weird because you know you should just have a salad or something light, and how actually eating a hamburger midday is like a sign of self hatred because like you're making a choice that's gonna make you feel like shit. Well, here we are at fucking Wiener Schnitzel. This is the closest establishment to get food to the radio station and I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna walk in here and I'm gonna find something to eat so let's go I like a restaurant with a ridiculously long hard to pronounce German name you know oh like, that's a tasty freeze but wiener schnitzel man. what's up you got you got a suggestion of something we should get here that's like the key wiener schnitzel meal well pretty much the number one would be it it's a chili dog spice thing all right get a number one I supersized it and I'm about to fill a cup of water I didn't even do this because I wanted it I did it because fucking I thought it would be good for the vlog. There's a lot of bummer. Guy in there asked us not to put him on camera. That's what we were really going for, yeah. We need a fucking 45 year old bald guy on camera. Get him in here. Chris, make sure you get this old fucking pedo looking fuck on camera. I don't want to be on camera. Oh, but you were the star of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Chad Curley, interview coming soon. Just hit me up. Let's go. Who's is the, the vlog? Is the official the vlog? Crew? Yeah. Oh, it's fucking lit, man. <laughs> Right here, this is crazy. They're all in one place. I have no idea. Literally, like, <laughs> and then all down that way is like all 98 set. It's like it's like a fucking factory radio station. Yeah. It's, it's the mix room where yeah, yeah, this is some Yo, historic shit right here. Man, we got Big Boy's neighborhood every year. Look at that shit. Yeah, Macklemore, that's very 2013. Very Dana White. <laughs> Yo, what up, man? Bootleg Kev here, real 92.3. Right now we're at the uh, iHeartRadio building in Burbank. Shout out to the homie Adam. We just shooting the shit, man. You know what I mean? Shout out Adam. He's my spirit animal. Let's go. Yo, it's Damage. You know, I co-host with my boy Bootleg Kev on Real 92.3. It's the real after party. You know, we do this each and every night out here in LA. We run LA, man. Ask about us. This is our up? producer, Jasmine. Uh, this is... She hired me to come in and give her a spicy mod. That's what you guys do here? That's fine. Um, yeah, she likes to rub backs. <laughs> I mean, oh, she does great. my friend on the wall right there in the middle. Where's he drink? And he follows you on Instagram. <laughs> See, everybody <laughs> knows. <laughs> Nobody's better at promoing an Instagram follow than me. Damn. Nice and crispy. First bite on camera, please. Fucking cool. And that is from you hunching over. I feel one right here. I fucked up. I should have got that. Yeah, man, you're killing it, bro. I feel like it's like a needed like lane, man. Especially with all these young kids. It's like it's like, like nobody's validating it the way they should be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was just like a, I was just listening to Peter Rosenberg and Combat Jack like crazy, and I was like just hanging out with all these cool ass kids in LA and shit. And I was like, man, we gotta just start interviewing them. And I was like, I smell it's McDonald's. so crazy because see, I was close. Cup of fries. <laughs> My dude is. Yo, it's Real 92.3, LA's home for hip hop. Real after party, Boulay Cab, me, DJ Damage, Dre Sinatra jumping on those turntables, kicking things off. We're paranoid by Ty Dolla Sign. We also got Wild Thoughts on the way by Colin. Yo, shout out that girl Jackie from Compton, too. What up, Jackie? got hooked up with those Jeezy tickets. She gonna see him and T Grizzly live in Anaheim at the House of Blues. Right. We coming right back. If you got anything you wanna hear, you can hit us up on these phone lines. 866 246 Woo, it's Real 92.3. Oh, Jackie from Compton. Yeah, you yeah, just pull that one out of my <laughs> it's weird now having a filmer because he'll just be filming me and I'll just be in the car talking about the most random fucking shit and then he'll just be watching the footage afterwards like whoa like I don't remember talking about that like, <laughs> when I was filming myself I'd have to actually be thinking about what I was doing and now like he had me going on like a 10 minute rant about how cool Snoop Dogg was when I was a little kid which is why it was, it was funny when we were talking about that earlier and I'm just like watching it after like why the fuck was I just preaching about this how long you been with your lady? like a year dude this guy and his girl be fucking just mobbing on bitches on the internet, bro. It's lit. It's it's it's, it's kind of a, a really like nice situation. Like it's pretty whatever. 
every man would want. Bro, we're going to the porn awards together at the end of the month. Wait, Vegas? Or the ex biz ones out here? Want? I mean, not whenever I want, but you can know. Can she? What? I mean, if they're a bitch, yeah. She can't bring a dude? <laughs> Hell no. Cause she likes eating together. pussy and I don't like sucking dick. Well, I assume I wouldn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this such a gender bias? Like, yeah, but his girl loves women. Yeah. I get that. She's Maybe. a relationship ex. ex <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. But like, no, I really am interested in people who have open relationships. I did a show for Playboy before called Swinger. I kind of do a lot of research on them. And so, Swingers? essentially, what you do is swing. Like, you guys pick up. No, 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 no. Swing is different. Swing is when you swing. swap. Yeah. You swap partners. Unless you have a unicorn. And if you have a unicorn, which sounds like you bring into your relationship a lot, people who sleep with couples. What? Yeah, that's what we'll do. We gotta okay, sorry. Break. We gotta just break it down. Like, <laughs> We're running live. Drill 92 3 LA's home for hip hop. Little after party, we got crew after this. Yeah, keep it live, man. Let's do this little Uzi Burt. Okay. Uh, he'll walk you down. Uh, nice to meet you guys, man. Yeah. Nice meeting you as well. Yes, sir. We're talking. Okay, so, what are your thoughts on the chain thing? You haven't done it yet? Just... No, nah, man. I got one chain I bought when I first did radio like 10 years ago. Since then, it's been quiet. It's a black diamond chain. That one's still good, though. It's weird how that shit goes back and forth. Like, my family, yeah. when I was in New England, I was wearing uh, sandals with socks, right? My family was making fun of me. And I'm like, you guys are out of the fucking loop. Like, it's weird to wear sandals without socks now. Yeah. But, like, they're so, like, stuck on some, like, old ass, like, you know, like, they're making fun of me for it, even though it's actually back in style. I'm like, you guys have missed multiple rounds of trends here. That's the only reason you're able to think that way. We're done. Had a very productive day. Did four pieces of content. I got to hang out with my friends over at 92.3. So, overall, pretty productive day. A little sky show tomorrow. A little Zan, et cetera. See you there. Peace.